Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to create a data frame where one column of the data frame is a list. In this video I'm going to show you an example and in this example I'm going to create a data frame where one variable is a numeric vector and the other variable is a list. So for this example we first need to create a numeric vector and this is what we are doing in line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called my var. And we can also have a look at this vector object by running line 3 of the code. And now you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector object simply consists of the values 1, 2 and 3. Then I'm also going to create a list in the R programming language and this is what I'm doing in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new list object is created and we can also have a look at this list by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our list consists of three list elements. The first list element is a numeric list element, the second element is a character element and the third list element is consisting of the numeric value 5. Now let's assume that we want to create a data frame in which our numeric vector and our list are contained. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8 and in this line of code I'm using the data frame function and then within the data frame function I'm specifying my numeric vector and then I'm specifying my list However, please note that around this list object we need to wrap the i function. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code and now you can see that our data frame is shown at the bottom in the RStudio console and as you can see the first variable of our data frame is our numeric vector and the second variable of our data frame is our list. Now we could also have a look at this list variable that we have just created by running line 11 of the code and then you can see that this column of the variable is consisting of the same list that we have created before in line 5 of the code. So in this video I have shown you how to create a data frame where one column of the data frame is a list object. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.